According to the Spalding classification system, items that enter sterile tissue or the vascular system are classified as a. Critical items b. Semi-critical items c. Non-critical items d. Environmental items Answer a. Critical items Which of the following is not considered a critical item? a. Surgical instruments b. Cardiac catheters c. Implants d. Endotracheal tubes Answer, D, endotracheal tubes. High-level disinfection is required for which category of items according to the Spalding classification system? A, critical items. B, semi-critical items. C, non-critical items. D, environmental items. Answer, B, semi-critical items. Quaternary ammonium compounds, quats, are classified as which level of disinfectant? A. High-level disinfectants B. Intermediate-level disinfectants C. Low-level disinfectants D. Sterilants Answer. C. Low-level disinfectants Which of the following statements about quaternary ammonium compounds, quats, is true? A. They are compatible with soaps. B. They are high-level disinfectants. C. They can be inactivated by organic material. D. They are effective against bacterial spores. Answer. C. They can be inactivated by organic material. Which disinfectant is known to be inactivated by the presence of organic material such as blood or feces? A. Quaternary ammonium compounds. B. Glutaraldehyde C. Hydrogen peroxide D. Parasitic acid Answer A. Quaternary ammonium compounds Items that come into contact with intact skin but not mucous membranes are classified as A. Critical items B. Semi-critical items C. Non-critical items D. Sterile items Answer, C, non-critical items. The process by which all forms of microbial life, including bacteria, viruses, spores, and fungi, are completely destroyed is called A, disinfection. B, sterilization. C, sanitization. D, antisepsis. Answer, B, sterilization. Which of the following best describes organic materials in the context of disinfection? A. Inanimate objects that need to be disinfected. B. Chemical compounds that enhance disinfectant efficacy. C. Compounds containing oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen derived from living organisms. D. Disinfectants used on living tissue. Answer, C. Compounds containing oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen derived from living organisms. According to the Spalding classification system, which of the following requires only low-level to intermediate-level disinfection? A. Surgical instruments. B. Flexible fiber-optic endoscopes. C. Anesthesia breathing circuits. D. Crutches and countertops. Answer, D, crutches and countertops. What is one of the main challenges when using alcohol as a disinfectant? A, it leaves a residue on surfaces. B, it requires wet contact for at least 5 minutes. C, it stains fabric and equipment. D, it is corrosive to metals. Answer, B, it requires wet contact for at least 5 minutes. Which of the following is true about ethyl and isopropyl alcohol as disinfectants? A. They are effective against hydrophilic viruses. B. They leave a residual film after use. C. They are fast-acting and leave no residue. D. They require organic material for activation. Answer. C. They are fast-acting and leave no residue. Phenolics are classified as what level of disinfectant? A. High-level disinfectant B. Low-level disinfectant C. Intermediate or low-level disinfectant D. Sterilant 
Answer, C, intermediate or low-level disinfectant. What is the disadvantage of using phenolics as disinfectants? A. They are sporicidal. B. They are inactivated by organic material. C. They do not leave any residual activity. D. They are compatible with stainless steel instruments. Answer. B. They are inactivated by organic material. Which of the following disinfectants is considered corrosive to some plastics and metals, requiring thorough rinsing to prevent skin burns? A. Alcohol. B. Phenolics. C. Chlorine. D. Iodophores. Answer. B. Phenolics. Chlorine is most commonly used in CS departments for which purpose? A. Disinfection of surgical instruments. B. Cleaning biohazard spills. C. Sterilization of endoscopes. D. Disinfection of optical instruments. Answer, B. Cleaning biohazard spills. Which disinfectant is recommended by the CDC for cleaning blood spills in a 110 dilution? A. Iodophores. B. Glutaraldehyde. C. Chlorine, sodium hypochlorite. D. Phenolics. Answer, C. Chlorine, sodium hypochlorite. Iodophores are commonly used as a. A high-level disinfectant for medical devices. B. A sterilant for all types of instruments. C. An antiseptic for skin preparations and disinfection of equipment. D. A disinfectant for biohazard spills. Answer. C. An antiseptic for skin preparations and disinfection of equipment. Which of the following best describes the action of glutaraldehyde as a high-level disinfectant? A. It acts by inactivating organic material. B. It requires no rinsing after use on medical devices. C. It acts as a low-level disinfectant for hard surfaces. D. It kills microorganisms through alkylation of proteins. Answer. D. It kills microorganisms through alkylation of proteins. Which of the following personal protective equipment, PP, is recommended when working with glutaraldehyde? A. Cotton gloves and face shields. B. Nitrile or butyl gloves and face and eye protection. C. Latex gloves and safety glasses. D. Plastic aprons and rubber gloves. Answer. B. Nitrile or butyl gloves and face and eye protection. What does MEC stand for in the context of disinfectants? A. Maximum efficiency concentration. B. Minimum effective concentration. C. Maximum effective capacity. D. Minimum efficiency compound. Answer. B. Minimum effective concentration. Which of the following disinfectants is known to kill vegetative bacteria within 2 minutes and achieve sporicidal effects after 6 to 10 hours? A. Alcohol. B. Phenolics. C. Glutaraldehyde. D. Hydrogen peroxide. Answer, C. Glutaraldehyde. What is the disadvantage of glutaraldehyde as a disinfectant? A. Short shelf life of 1 to 3 days. B. Strong, noxious odors requiring good ventilation. C. Not effective against vegetative bacteria. D. Requires no soaking time. Answer, B. Strong, noxious odors requiring good ventilation. Which disinfectant does not require activation or mixing before use and has a reuse life of 14 days? A. Glutaraldehyde. B. Orthophthalaldehyde, OPA. C. Hydrogen peroxide. D. Parasitic acid. Answer. B. Orthophthalaldehyde, OPA. What is the recommended method for testing the concentration of OPA solutions before use? A. By using test strips recommended by the manufacturer. B. By checking color changes. C. By manual mixing. D. By performing a chemical reaction test. Answer. A. By using test strips recommended by the manufacturer.
What is one of the advantages of hydrogen peroxide as a high-level disinfectant, HLD? A. It has a long shelf life of 6 months. B. It is effective against MRSA and TB. C. It is non-corrosive to all materials. D. It does not require rinsing after use. Answer. B. It is effective against MRSA and TB. Which of the following disinfectants is effective at achieving high-level disinfection in 5 minutes at room temperature but is also corrosive to some materials? A. Alcohol. B. Parasitic acid. C. Glutaraldehyde. D. Iodophores. Answer. B. Parasitic acid. Which process is used for disinfection by using water temperatures between 150 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 to 77 degrees Celsius, for a minimum of 30 minutes? A. Sterilization. B. Thermal disinfection. C. High-level disinfection. D. Pasteurization. Answer. D. Pasteurization. When using a chemical disinfectant, why is it important to follow the manufacturer's instructions for use, IFU? A. To ensure the disinfectant works on a variety of surfaces. B. To prevent chemical reactions and ensure safe use. C. To reduce the cost of using the disinfectant. D. To increase the disinfectant's lifespan beyond the manufacturer's claims. Answer. B. To prevent chemical reactions and ensure safe use. What does the term wet contact time refer to in the disinfection process? A. The amount of time the item stays submerged in water. B. The time during which the item must remain wet with the disinfectant to be effective. C. The period required for the item to dry completely after disinfection. D. The time required for the disinfectant to evaporate from the surface. Answer, B, the time during which the item must remain wet with the disinfectant to be effective.